Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm at the camper tonight, but today when I was at work, just finishing up a, a job today, and they've had these puffball mushrooms that have been growing in the woods between the road and up by the house. And I saw those a couple days ago, and today I decided to pick a couple of them. And I know that these are edible. I mean, you gotta cut them open and they should be white all the way through. And uh, I wanted to cook a piece of this up and give it a try. <laughs> I picked a few of these and uh, I, they'll stay, you know, three, four, five days in the fridge. I should be up to the farmhouse in two more days. So uh, I put a couple of them in the refrigerator. So Melissa and I can both try them. I'm 100% sure that this is a puffball mushroom, but let's cut it open and make sure it's white all the way through. Well, that pretty much looks white all the way through. I think we're good. It's funny, when I was a kid, you know, if you guys live somewhere where there's puffball mushrooms, later in the fall they dry out, and when you step on them, you know, poof, like a dust cloud comes out. And my mom would tell me that you can't do that. If you get that in your eyes, it'll make you go blind. <laughs> so I always thought that they were poisonous. But then as I got older and got into wild edibles, I figured out that no, they're not. A lot of people that cook this will put it in like an egg wash and then breadcrumbs or something and cook it. For me, for the first time, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to taste if I like it or not. I'm the same way with eating fish. Like, when a fish is heavily breaded, you really don't taste the fish. All you taste is the breading. So, I thought we'd give it a try like this first and see if it's worth it or not. There was one recipe where they actually uh, cut them into like breadstick size pieces and then put, uh, I don't know what it was, but they had Parmesan cheese and made like a, like a breadstick out of the mushroom, but and then they baked it in the oven. So I'm going to put some foil over it to help heat it up. It should be okay that way, I think. I don't know when they're done. This one seems done. They do absorb whatever you put in there, so they're just gonna taste. They're like a sponge. Different than anything, any mushroom I've ever cooked. I wonder in this instance if it was breaded, uh, if then it would, wouldn't absorb everything as much. I don't know. This is the third, this is my second batch of this, but it's my third, like, kind of a half a stick of butter. Oh, I can hardly breathe in here. That's what sucks about it. 
cooking in a camper. Let's give this a try. It tastes exactly like what you put on it. I didn't think I put that much seasoning on it. I put too much seasoning on it. It's not bad. It's good. It does not taste like a mushroom, though. I bet you making these into breadsticks a little bit thicker would be awesome. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Now we have tried puffball mushrooms. Not bad. If this video gets uh, edited and put up, you know I didn't die. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next video.